How did you know this story was special? Or, or maybe I didn't. you didn't? Yeah? Uh, we, 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 felt, we felt it was special because we, uh, we felt special, I guess, yes, because we, I don't know, because when you write a screenplay, I think you think it's special. You know, um, whether or not it is special is sort of up to the, you know, the gods of the future. Um, but we thought it was special. I guess we thought it was special because we enjoyed writing with each other. And we enjoyed the story that we had built. And we had some good plot twists. And we liked the nonlinear structure. And we had written, you know, uh, he, he, Jason had written four or five or six screenplays at that point, and I had written uh, uh, two. <clears throat> and so when you get to your third script, your third feature script, you've learned, you, you, trust me, you've learned a lot. And, and, and I think us teaming up, his weaknesses and strengths and my weaknesses and strengths really were, were, uh, were worked well together. He's very good at things that I'm not and vice versa. And so we liked it and we gave it to um, ten, 10 of our friends. Um, here's something that I would advise any screenwriter to do who's starting out. You have a screenplay. Don't uh, send the PDF to a person and ask him to read it. It's just you're never going to get anything like that. What you have to do is you have to make it a special thing. You have to say, what we did was we took 10 friends, some in the industry, some not in the industry. We didn't know many people in the industry, but you know, friends who we trusted and thought they were smart. And we said, we have a hard copy of the screenplay. Um, we'd like you to come over to, we had an office that he, my, my uh, co-writer is working for a, um, um, someone in office in Manhattan. We would like you to come over to the office, if you wouldn't mind, we're not going to stand over you like, uh, you know, a, a, a funny farm and like, you know, watch you read the pages or whatever. Uh, but we'd like you to read it and we'll walk away. We'll be gone for a couple hours. You can write notes, whatever. You can bash it. We don't care. We just want like 10 different people's point of view. So that's what we did. We, we had 10 people read it. Uh, like they couldn't leave with it. They couldn't take it. We didn't, you know, that way we know they're going to read it, you know. Uh, and um, and we're not going to stand over their shoulder. We like left the office, came back, and then we sit down with them and we just talk it out with them. We took all their notes. We decided what we what we were feeling and and where the sort of the consensus notes were. And then we went right back into it. And 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 two weeks later, we had like a script that we were able to we felt could uh, perhaps be given to people to of of note. So you felt in giving a, a PDF that it would just sit in someone's inbox and they would maybe find a reason to say, oh, you know what, I'm so sorry, I'm really busy. But by having them there, sitting them down, you know, with uninterrupted time, it was just a better way to actually... It's, I mean, it's, listen, that's a fact. I mean, think about it in terms of being on the other side of the coin. Mm -hmm. If your friend sends a PDF, a 100-page PDF of you of something, and maybe, by the way, you're not a screenwriter, you're like their friend, and you don't really read screenplays a lot. It's a, seem, it's, it's a daunting task. It's a task that, you know, uh, I don't know how to explain it. You could be excited about reading a screenplay that comes into your inbox, but generally speaking, in the, wor the age we live in, with emails and social media and all these things going on for people to get distracted by, to read your friend or your cousin's or your second cousin, your friend's brother's uncle's screenplay or whatever, you know, we felt that no one's going to read our script if we just send them a PDF of it. We felt, let's just set a time for them to read it, not like be, not be in the room when they read it, but that way they'll read it. And then right after they read it, we get their fresh, unfiltered, you know, like feelings about the screenplay and then if we see things from like at, if six out of the ten of them are saying this is no good well then you know we know that's something we got to work on